Hello everyone and welcome back to another update for the Game Tech Executive Tycoon. My name is Walter, one of the owners of the company Web Gaming Entertainment. And I'm coming to you with the, as I mentioned, the next update uh, as we as things stand right now. Um, so I'm going to share three, three things with you, three main uh, bullet points if you will. Uh, what we've been doing, uh, where we are today, and what's next. <clears throat> so. First of all, I definitely want to say thanks to everyone who's been following the game. Thanks for the dedication. Thanks for the the support. We can't really overstate how grateful we are for that. Um, it's been very tremendous, um, the kind words. I, of course, it's been a good mix of, uh, of feedback, of course, due to the length of time it has taken to uh, get to where we are even today. So. Um, but again, it just shows us that there's a lot of, uh, you know, passion in, re in regard to it, uh, regard to the game. A lot of you are excited for it, want to see it, want to play it, and I we're very grateful for that. So, want to definitely say thank you, and uh, your patience will be rewarded. We definitely uh, hope to have the game released as soon as possible. Um, so, without further ado, just getting right to those three bullet points that I mentioned. <clears throat> What we've been doing, what, where we are right now today, and what's next? Where are we going? So, the, what we've been doing, of course, as mentioned in the last update and throughout all the uh, through the website, you know, all the updates that we have given over the past few months, we're still in testing, and right now it is still the internal testing phase, and uh, everything is going very well. So, just to share with you what that testing has been consisting of, uh, as mentioned before, the AI. Artificial intelligence, we've been really just fine-tuning that, uh, making improvements here and there, you know, all, that, that all goes with the testing phase or a phase of development. So that's expected. Uh, we sort of built all these different systems for the game and then we put them all into the game and now it's time for those systems to work well with each other. And so a lot of the testing has been really that really just that it, it just making each system work well with each other communicate well with each other uh without any hiccups without any breakdowns uh in gameplay and right now we're in a very good place things are go coming along very well of course there's a there there were hiccups over the the past few months and uh that has changed some internal timetables of course but nothing out of the anticipated or the expected. It's very difficult to nail down any particular timetable when it comes to testing and bug smashing, if you will. So that's the reason why for those who haven't been staying up to date on our updates or staying up to date on the uh, information that we will share, that I will share on the website, the reason why we have not given a solid release date yet is due to the, the, the I hate to say the uncertainty, but the 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 unpredictability right of the current phase which is you know testing and it's very hard to anticipate what type of bugs you're going to run into and what may be expected or you know what you're gonna have to do to overcome those bugs so we are staying away from nailing down or giving a particular release date just yet but we're getting closer to that day that we can actually do that because the whole testing phase is about that figuring out where the game is right now as far as bugs and you know fixing those what's a game breaker what's what's not what's are, what are smaller things that we can you know quickly fix versus the things that are game breaking that can lead to you know some of the more uh, you know really critical bugs so to speak so that's pretty much what we've been focused on uh, and as I mentioned right so I mentioned the bringing all the game systems together um, also one thing that we did do which wasn't a big thing but we did bring back the office building uh, feature back into the game uh, from a year and a half ago when we had first when we had scrapped the old build and started over from the ground up we also initially did not decide to go forward with the office building feature of the game so we, we went back to that model of hey we're gonna build out some predefined offices that you the player can choose from uh, you know to have their different uh, costs related you know things like that but you know to me that was more of force feeding you guys into a certain style of play or a certain layout for your offices and things like that and to me that takes away from that in my opinion, it takes away from the immersion. It takes away from that freedom of choice when it comes to playing the games, playing games like this. So, with that said, we decided to bring that office building 
mode back into the game and you can probably see you you, you can see in this particular video here that um, it's back in and we're still fine-tuning that so just bugs there too that we're clearing out trying to make sure that we get it going you, you can see a few bugs in fact uh, with that uh, build mode uh, right in this video so that's what we've been built that's what we've been working on we've also been adding more and more and more and more assets to the game so you know in the way of uh, uh, desk computers uh, chairs <clears throat> and things like that other furnishings uh, definitely want to continue to add as many uh, different types and different styles of assets into the game to just expand on that uh, experience expand on expand on the immersion expand on that choice for you the player so those are the things that we have been doing uh, leading up to today uh, and and as a result that's where we are today so where we are just to give an overall view is still clearing out some more of the uh, the issues or the bugs related to AI making sure that they're making all the decisions that we program them to make um, and so that's the key so we built in the, the debugging UI into the game um, and now we get that 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 direct feedback from the game as it's playing as we're making choices and we're doing things in the game we're watching how the AI is responding to that in addition to that we're watching how the AI is responding to other AI characters and it, it, it's making for some very incredible experiences and very fun uh, observations at the same time so that is where we are now we've been doing that but we're also still at that point continuing to fine-tune that and iron all the bugs related to that right now so in addition to that uh, the back to the UI as you can see we've actually made the or implemented the latest pass on the UI so we are going to that uh, is more of a clean uh, AI before it was a really dark theme uh, we decided to move away from that dark theme more to a, a, a lighter theme I uh, definitely wanted to give that feeling of I don't know it's different color schemes that give you different vibes and, and in this particular case we felt that this particular this latest pass is a really good fit for the game so we definitely are gonna stick with that there's still some things that we're implementing so we're still uh, replacing the old UI with with the new uh, with the new style and so you'll see that is some inconsistencies even in this video with some of the UI and that's gonna change it's gonna all become completely uniform uh, going forward so and and that kind of ties into the to improving the, the the player's experience so the end user experience so that's what we're really focusing on now as well and uh after this so where we're going next from here is definitely the close testing we want to make sure we bring uh some of the backers who uh, supported the game from the beginning uh was part of that uh crowdfunding campaign to allow all those who did donate and did support to get first chance to test the game so the closed testing will be open to them first all of you who have uh, backed the game from the beginning and uh, if this if it's not enough people for the first wave then uh, we'll be opening it up for others to also take part <clears throat> so that's that's pretty much where we are now and again everything is going very well uh, of course <laughs> I always want to make sure that the game is out as soon as physically possible, but what's most important to us, as I mentioned it before, and we will continue to mention it, is that it's quality over, uh, you know, rushing things to be out or trying to hit any particular deadline or timeline. So our number one focus is to make sure that the game is good, make, aim for the game to be great, and, uh, you know, take that approach. That's the priority list for us. So that's where we are, guys. Thanks so much for your, your, your dedication. Thanks for your passion and your patience. Uh, you guys are awesome, and we will be bringing this game to you as soon as physically possible. Thanks for sticking with us, and we'll see you soon. And I'm going to be back with more updates uh, going forward. Uh, right now, we're kind of, we, we've, they're a little bit infrequent, the updates, and we we are aware of that. And we will make sure that we let you know that we are. Uh, at the same time, we're going to keep that priority list going as far as making sure we have our head down getting this game done that's the number one priority but we will provide updates as soon as we can when we can and uh you can you can you can count on that so thanks everyone again for your support your patience and your dedication and we'll see you guys in the next video